How is it going everybody Mr. Android here. In this video, I will be showing you 10 advanced tips, tricks and hidden features of Galaxy A52. Guys, make sure to watch this video till the very end because I am sure you won't find these features anywhere else. Also let's aim for 1500 likes on this video. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first up is how you can customize and change the entire look of your Samsung keyboard with different themes and animations. All you need to do is head over to the Galaxy Store and download this application called Goodlock. It's a free application made by Samsung which offers a ton of cool features for your phone. Once you download the app, simply open and here you will find a lot of different modules for your device. But the one that I'm talking about is the Keys Cafe that you can easily find in the family tab. Make sure to download this module and if you open it, here you get an option to customize your entire keyboard. You can change the theme, keyboard background, change the button layout and even it lets you add different effects and animations as well. All in all, if you want a better typing experience on your phone, then definitely try out this module. Now if I lock my device, you can see my lock screen is very clean, I do not have status bar at the top and also I can access 6 of my favorite applications directly from my lock screen itself. So to make your lock screen more useful and productive, again go to good lock application. This time you need to download a module called Lockstar. This module lets you completely customize your lock screen. You can change the position of the clock, choose different clock styles. You can also add or remove items from your lock screen. For example, if I don't want the status bar appear on my lock screen, I can easily disable it. If you want, you can add more application shortcuts that you can directly access from the lock screen. Galaxy A52 comes with an in-display fingerprint scanner which is definitely better than the previous A-series devices but still I find it to be quite slow. To improve the speed of this fingerprint scanner, all you have to do is go to settings and search optimize battery usage. Just go inside and then change it to all. Now search biometrics, you get this option called com.samson.android. It will be turned on by default, you need to turn this off. Also make sure you disable the fingerprint animations by going to the biometrics and security. Once you're done, now when you unlock your phone, it will be much faster and better. Next, let me show you how you can improve multitasking. Guys, if I go to settings and enable this H panel on my phone, now whenever I want to open split screen view, all I have to do is just swipe from the edge, press and hold on the app that I want to open and drag it down to the main screen. I think it's one of the easiest way to activate split screen mode on Samsung devices. Not only this, if you tap on this icon, it will create an app shortcut. Which means, whenever you want to open both of these apps simultaneously, you simply need to select this app shortcut from the edge panel. I will highly suggest you to start using edge panels, they are super predictive. If I swipe from the right, I get this quick tools which let me adjust the brightness, control the volume, turn on the torchlight, take a screenshot and more. Similarly, by swiping from the left, I get all my recent applications that I can access from anywhere on the screen. To set up these kind of gestures on your phone, just head over to the Goodlock application and download this module called One Hand Operations. It's a module which allows you to add different gestures on your device. You can add different actions for swiping left, swiping right and even for swiping up and down. Simply select an action that you want to assign and that's it. I think it's one of the best Goodlock module that you can get for your Samsung phone. Next, if I press my power button, I get 4 options including lockdown mode, which you probably will not have. What it does is, it disables all biometrics and it blocks all notification from appearing on your lock screen. So no one can see any notification that you might have received while you are away from your phone. And the only way to unlock is by putting in your 4 digit pin. It's basically a safety measure. To enable this, just go to your settings, select lock screen and go inside secure lock settings. Here, enable this option called Show Lockdown Mode. Once you're done, now you will be able to see this fourth option which is super useful. Next, I want to talk about a feature called Dual Messenger. If you go to your phone settings and then to advanced features, simply scroll it down and you will find an option called Dual Messenger. What it does is, it lets you install a second copy of these applications on your device. So in case, if you have two different WhatsApp account and you want to use both in your Galaxy A52, then you can use this feature. Basically, it creates a clone of that same app so you can use two different accounts at the same time. If you open your phone dialer and then go to call settings, you will find an option called call background. 
Just go inside and here you can change the background of your call screen. So whenever you receive any call, you get this plain and boring background. If you want, you can customize and set some cool videos in the background or even it lets you create your own AR emoji which I think looks absolutely gorgeous. So now when you receive any calls from your friend, you will have a very interesting call screen to look at. Next in your settings, go to accessibility. You will see an option called advanced settings. Just go inside and select flash notifications. Now make sure to enable this option called camera flash notifications. Once you're done, now if you receive any notification or messages from your friends, you will have this camera flash blinking at the back. So if you don't want to miss any notification, even if your phone is in silent mode, then make sure you have enabled this important setting. Let's talk about one more feature related to notifications. Under settings, select notifications, click on advanced settings and turn on this option called notification history. This way, even if you dismiss any notification by mistake, you can easily find it in the notification history. Here, you will be able to see all your notifications that you have received in the last 24 hours. So that's pretty much it guys. These are 10 advanced hidden features that you should definitely use on your Samsung Galaxy A52. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.